Um, hi, and uh, I guess welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to answer this question. Uh, what does mastery of a math concept mean to you? Uh, so I guess uh, for me, there are kind of three different, I guess, degrees of mastery. And I guess maybe you wouldn't call the first two mastery. You would only call the third one uh, mastery, but I guess that there are, you know, I, I've thought about this a bit, and um, I think that there are three different levels of of mastery, or three different levels with which I feel I, you know, uh, comprehend different uh, different problems, or kind of gauge my understanding of of a math of a mathematical concept. So uh, I guess the first uh, the, I guess the first tier, and this is really kind of like the lowest tier. It's like the most basic level of mastery. And it's basically if, uh, it's basically, can I use it? Can I use the concept? So it, it's basically like, you know, if I have, um, you know, if I, uh, have uh, a given, you know, a, a given mathematical concept, uh, can I use it for solving a given problem? You know, like, can I, uh, you know, if I know that, you know, differentiating this one function uh, gives me, uh, you know, if I know that uh, 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 differentiating acceleration will give me velocity, well, do I understand the concept enough so that I can use it, basically. Do I understand, you know, if I'm in a physics class and I understand, you know, that the if I just have to differentiate acceleration and that gives me velocity, uh, that is kind of like one level of mastery. It's like kind of mastery of utility, almost. Like, I might not necessarily understand the concept at a very deep level, but I think I, you know, I, I can kind of I guess I can kind of get it, and I think that one of the things that can be very important, uh, especially when you are, you know, getting into college and going into a degree program, I mean, you know, it would be great if you can have this really deep mastery of every single concept you learn in all of your classes, but frankly, you're not always going to get that. And I would, you know, frankly almost say, you, like, even most of the time, you're, you're not really going to get that. I, I, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, if, if you get that even half of the time, uh, it, you're, you're, I think, very lucky. Uh, but I think what you really need to be able to do with all or almost all of the math concepts that, that you learn, uh, particularly in, you know, in college or, or in a course, is you really do have to know how to use them, how to, how to help the, you know, if you have a problem on an exam or, you know, even professionally, if you have a, you know, if you are trying to implement some algorithm in code and you need to use a given concept, uh, you know, you, you know, obviously having a very deep understanding of the concept can be important, but it's also very important to know how to use the concept. So anyway, that's the first tier of what I consider, I guess, mastery. The second tier, and you know, this is kind of a progression, like the first tier is like the easiest thing to get. The second tier is really, can I understand, can I use the concept to understand the next concept? Can I use concept to understand the next concept? So this is, you know, kind of like um, if you are, uh, like if you are learning differentiation in a calculus class, do you understand differentiation well enough to, I guess, maybe move on to understanding antiderivatives, which help you to move on to understanding integrals. Kind of like how, uh, you know, following the, I guess, uh, uh, you know, I, get, I know I've heard uh, Sal Khan talk about how uh, you have to build a very solid foundation before you can build the first floor of a building. Um, and this is kind of like, I guess, what, what I would consider, you know, the, le the next level of mastery of a concept, you know, is my 
foundation in one su in one you know uh, concept solid enough that I can use it to understand kind of the next uh, the next concept. And I would say that you know this is obviously I think very necessary to have. Uh, you know, it's a little bit better than just being able to use the concept to solve the problems that you're understanding right now. You have to connect with it a little bit deeper to understand how does it how does it connect to the next thing that you're going to learn in uh, in the class or in the or in the course. Um, and also, you know, how can I use the concept to connect to what like the bigger picture is in a uh, um, uh, in a uh, you know in my mathematic career, I guess, or, or academic career. So um, I'll say, can I use concept to understand the next concept slash big picture, big picture of the course. Um, so anyway, those are the first two. And now the last one, uh, the third tier, which is really, I think, kind of the gold standard for me, at least, for gauging if I really have connected with the material if I feel like I do have a really deep understanding of the material is can I explain it to someone else? Can I explain it to someone else? So though, so, you know, this is, I guess, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I know it's a it's a famous quote that says if you're if you're not able to uh, teach a concept to someone else or teach a teach a concept to someone who doesn't know it, uh, then you don't understand the concept well enough yourself. I I, I feel like you know uh, nothing reveals how little you actually know than trying to explain it to someone else. Um, you know, one of the things that I, I've personally realized, like, I, you know, I, I've made a couple of these, you know, Khan Academy style, style videos, and those really, really can uh, uh, reveal how much, how, how much there is that you don't know about your concept, or how unsure you are about uh, different parts of the concept, because it's sort of like you start posing questions to yourself, and uh, you kind of think about, you know, how how exactly things need to be worded. And, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I think that that is kind of the gold standard for me, is if I can explain the concept to someone else, uh, then I feel like I do connect with it on a very deep level. And really, it's like when I say, can I explain it to someone else? Uh, it's also, can I explain it to someone else? Uh, and can I answer their questions? Can I answer their questions um because it's like obviously you can explain it to someone in a you know uh you can explain it to someone maybe they understand it maybe they don't uh but you know if someone is going to ask you questions about it someone is going to say you know well why why does it work in this situation but not that situation what, what's the difference between these two situations it works in one it doesn't work in another uh I think that um, uh, uh, that is the point that you really, I guess, do have mastery over over a concept. Uh, so anyway, I guess that's my answer. Three-tiered system. Can I use the concept? Can I use the concept to understand the next concept and, in turn, the bigger picture? And then the third tier is, can I explain it to someone else, else and can I answer their questions? Uh, thanks for watching.